This will be uh, part three of our teaching that we're doing on um, righteousness. Are you righteous? Um, we're trying to, to identify, or we're not trying to, but we are we're identifying what the scripture has to say about the righteous, about who, who are the righteous ones that the scripture is talking about. And uh, is it talking about just keeping good, de you know, doing good deeds and living a good moral life? Are those the ones that the, the scripture is talking about as being righteous? And you're going to see as we continue our study of this that that's not accurate. Um, in fact, you know, the, the scripture says over the book of Romans chapter 3 that there's none righteous, no, not one. Now, see, a lot of people quote that and, and, and say, well, nobody's righteous. Well, you're accurate in the fact that there is none righteous outside the kingdom of Yahuwah. Because every person, that, that because we have inherited our our sinful nature from our fathers, it's been passed down through Adam, through uh, through him, age age after age has, has passed that nature, that sin nature, down to mankind. It says in the book of Ephesians that we were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. In other words, we were by nature, it was our nature to act like a sinner. I've said this many times, you know, it shouldn't surprise us when we turn the television on or we read the newspaper or in the news hear some of all the terrible acts that people are doing, the killings that's going on, the the uh, all the horrible things that mankind is doing d does to one another, because it's man's nature to act that way. He's a sinner. He's on the way to hell. He's a child of the devil of Shaitan, and unless he's born again or born from above, that's going to be his destiny. That's where he will spend eternity. Oh, outside, you know, in in outer darkness, you know, he he will he will spend it away. From, from the kingdom of Yahuwah. And he'll suffer the punishment and judgment of the things that he's done in his body. Oh, that's why it's so important to be born from above, to make sure that you know that you know that you've received the Mashiach, that you have life in you. You have the Ruach in you. You have the Spirit in you because that's what makes you righteous before our Father. And so I want to read in uh, 1 Corinthians today, chapter 6, and Paul says in verse 9, he says, Know you not that the unrighteous, you know, we're talking about righteous, and then we're talking about now the unrighteous. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahuwah. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetousness, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of Yahuwah. And then he said, see, and that sounds pretty, you know, that might cover a whole bunch of people. That might even cover you in some category right there. But he says, and listen, he's saying these are these these are just symptoms of the of those that are unrighteous. In other words, these this is the fruit of their unrighteousness. But he says, and such, verse 11, and such were some of you. <laughs> oh, some of you. Some of us, we, were, we, we fell in some of these areas of, of, of the things that Paul has listed here. But he said, but such were some of you. But you are washed, but you are separated, sanctified, you are separated. But you are justified, declared righteous is what that means, justified in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach and by the Ruach of Yahuwah. Did you hear what I said? You are justified. You are cleansed, you are washed, you are sanctified, you are justified, justified. Someone said the definition of justified is to be just as if you never sinned. You're justified in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach and by the Spirit of Yahuwah, or the Ruach of Yahuwah. See, that's what causes you to be justified before Him, is that you've received of His Spirit and we become partakers of the divine nature. <laughs> when I think about that, I just want to run, I think. I just want to get so excited. <laughs> I think about, wow, you know, I've become partakers of Yahuwah's nature. He's, he's imparted his Ruach into me and into you if you're a believer, if you've received the Mashiach. But see, again, it's not works of righteousness which we have done, but again, it's according to his mercy that he saved us. And it's by faith. See, Abraham believed Yahuwah, and it was accounted to him for what? Righteousness. 
See, it was by faith. It wasn't because Abraham uh, kept all the, the commandments or the Torah. And actually, that you know, uh, Moses was before, I mean, Abraham was before the Ten Commandments. You know that. So, but with all that said, he was declared righteous because of his faith. And the, 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 the scripture declares, and, and the scripture foreseeing that Yahuwah would justify us through faith declared in, 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 that in Abraham all, all nations shall be blessed. And the reason they are is because he is our example that righteousness is found in believing Yahuwah. Just like Abraham believed Yahuwah and it was accounted. In other words, Yahuwah accounted him as righteous, treated him as if he was righteous. <laughs> but see, listen, he, 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 the, the righteousness that Abraham walked in, see, it was, it was a temporary uh it was temporary the fact is that he did not have the Ruach in Abraham, in, in him, because it had not been given yet, because Yahusha, who pay, had to pay the price first for man's redemption, that penalty of sin had, you know, had to be paid in order for the Ruach to be given to those that believe. Well, thank you for joining us on this session, and we'll pick up on our next. And uh, again, I love you. Yahuwah loves you. And uh, Baruch Haba Bashem Yahuwah, blessed is he who comes in the name of Yahuwah. Shalom.